The Ultimate Brain Quiz The Superheroes Inside Your Head Hey there, Brainiacs! Before we meet the top players in our brain, let's explore the printable and online worksheets on Tutoring Hour. Visit tutoringhour.com for your daily dose of practice. Let's go! This part of the brain is divided into the right and left hemispheres and is responsible for higher cognitive functions. What part is it? Is it A. The cerebrum B. The cerebellum or C. The brainstem? And the answer is the cerebrum. This is the largest part of the brain and helps with thinking, memory, and voluntary movement. This next section is also known as the balance coach of the brain. It helps coordinate your movements. What's it called? Is it A, the amygdala, B, the cerebellum, or C, the thalamus? And the answer is the cerebellum, that's right. The cerebellum helps with balance, coordination, and precise movements. So remember to thank it next time you show off your dance moves, athletic skills, or even just walking in a straight line. Now, this part of the brain connects to the spinal cord and controls automatic functions that keep you alive, like breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, and sleep. What part of the brain is this? Is it A, the spinal cord, B, the brainstem, or C, the thalamus? And the answer is the brainstem. This part of the brain is in charge of vital functions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure, making it one of the most essential parts for survival. Our next structure acts as the information relay station of the brain, passing messages between different areas. What part is it? Is it A, the thalamus, B, the pineal gland, or C, the pituitary gland? And the answer is the thalamus. It's the ultimate messenger. All information from your senses, except smell, must be processed through the thalamus before being sent to the cerebral cortex for interpretation. It aids in sleep, wakefulness, consciousness, learning, and memory. This seahorse-shaped structure is crucial for forming new long-term memories and spatial navigation. What part of the brain is this? Is it A, the pong, B, the hypothalamus, or C, the hippocampus? And the answer is the hippocampus. Located within the temporal lobe, it helps convert short-term memories into long-term ones and helps remember locations. This lobe helps process sound, language, and memory. What is it called? Is it A, the inferior lobe, B, the temporal lobe, or C, the middle lobe? And the answer is the temporal lobe. This part of the brain is key for understanding sounds, processing language, storing memories, and recognizing auditory stimuli. This part of the brain controls vital functions like breathing, heart rate, and blood pressure. What part is it? Is it A, the dendrite, B, the medulla oblongata, or C, the thalamus? And the answer is the medulla oblongata. It is the bottom part of the brainstem. It regulates breathing, heartbeat, blood pressure, and swallowing. Next up, we have the part responsible for decision-making and problem-solving. What part of the brain is this? Is it A, the occipital lobe, B, the basal ganglia, or C, the frontal lobe? And the answer is the frontal lobe. It handles reasoning, planning, movement, speech, problem-solving, attention, memory, emotions, and self-regulation. This part of the brain helps regulate body temperature, hunger, and thirst. What's it called? Is it A, the cortex, B, the hypothalamus, or C, the frontal lobe? And the answer is the hypothalamus. It helps manage your body temperature, hunger and thirst, blood pressure, and sleep. This lobe of the brain is responsible for processing visual information. 
What part of the brain is this? Is it A. The occipital lobe B. The temporal lobe or C. The parietal lobe And the answer is the occipital lobe. This part of the brain helps you interpret everything you see. This part of the brainstem helps with sleep, respiration, swallowing, and facial expressions. What's it called? Is it A, the pons, B, the axon, or C, the frontal lobe? And the answer is the pons. It is the middle portion of your brainstem. It houses key nerves for facial sensation, eye movement, hearing, and balance. This lobe is primarily responsible for processing sensory information, such as touch and spatial awareness. What part of the brain is this? Is it A, the superior lobe, B, the parietal lobe, or C, the inferior lobe? And the answer is the parietal lobe. It helps you make sense of your surroundings by processing touch and spatial information. So, how did you do? Did your brain win or tap out early? Either way, thank you for playing along. Don't forget to smack the like and subscribe buttons for more brainy adventures. Until next time, keep those neurons firing.